Okay guys, what is up? Welcome back to Dragon's Dogma. I just finished making my support character, my pawn, his name is Baron. And if that's offensive in some way, then his name would be Duke. That's how he looks. I don't know. Like, whatever. Let's continue with the story. You'll be asked a few questions. Your answers will shape your pawn's inclination. When faced with danger, what trait would you value in a follower? Quick thinking, so you can handle everything. While in battle, what strategy would you prefer your follower employ? Um... Probably... Get comrades out of danger. Your follower rescues your party and turns the tide of the entire battle. What would you have him say? This way, master, leave him to me. I would tell him to... Strike. As a ruler, which gift would please you most? Magic potion that really preserves you for brave and just the perfect spells and just um perfect spells. Durr. Okay, we'll make him a mage. We'll have a mage support. Treat others well, and they shall treat you well in kind. The golden rule. Treat others the way you want to be treated. <laughs> Madman and Robbie and I were talking about how to improve with Raven. Our fealty is sworn to you, Lizzie. From this day. Whoa, do you see the guy in the back? Look at him, he's decked out in like all this gear. My guy's just like a noob. He's just standing in the, like in front of everyone. <laughs> Having been recognized as a risen, you have granted a loyal pawn to be a constant companion in your journey. In addition to this main pawn, you may hire up to two other pawns to support you in your adventures. Different pawns have different strengths, so you support pawns to tailor your party to fit your current needs. In addition to mind and level and available skills, the pawn's knowledge is another important part of creating an effective party. Pawns with appropriate knowledge of quests or foes can provide helpful advice and battle strategies. That is absolutely true. Hey, Baron, you leveled up. Good job, buddy. Let's talk. It's good stuff. Thanks. Whoa! Okay, what if I don't wish it? Oh, apparently, they're gonna make it come here anyway. Nah, I don't, I don't want to do training. Dang, dude, don't get so butt hurt. It's like, hmm, would you like to train? No. <laughs> well, whatever. <laughs> Is that like his life goal? To like pull random strangers out of camp and get, let's train. I mean, I appreciate the eagerness, but come on, give me like a second to breathe here. Back to Kazidus. That makes sense. Uh, Kazidus has like a lot of the beginning quests. And Kazidus is the town you began in. Hi there, creepy hermit. How are you doing? Okay, well. Leave me hanging there, I guess. Don't answer my questions. Let's talk, sir. Yeah, you can actually learn new abilities and stuff from inns. Hmm. I'm not gonna worry about any of those right now. Yeah, okay. Um, good stuff, Aaron. Good stuff. You learned about 
a very, very small camp. Hey, it's this guy again. Let's see what you have. You have the trusty sword, which does even more damage. Why did I buy that earlier? Leather cap. Chest guard. He has, he has everything. Chest guard. Sectional armor. Healer robe. Novice bracers and whatnot. Novice breaches. Metal greaves. Shoulder cape. Do I have any junk I can sell? Oh, the goblin horn. Rabbit pelt. I actually probably should just save my stuff. If I, if freaking Brook had knocked that Cyclops off the ledge, I would have gotten items worth like 4,000, but whatever. I should kill Rook as soon as I can. I was going to, I threw him off the cliff, but then he was like, Oh, help, I can't get up. And I was like, fine. Whatever, Rook. New Year has been unlocked. Visit the Kazadari Pier at night if you would see it for yourself. Now guys, that is the expansion, Dark Arisen. Um, this game is the original game, Dragon's Dogma. Once you feel like comfortable enough, you can go to the Isle of the Dark Arisen. I've never gone there. I've gone there for like 10 minutes in my main guy's game. But uh, since I did a new game for you guys, I don't have... This is my main guy now, I guess. I don't have any other data. That's one thing about Dragon's Dogma I don't like. You can only have one game at a time. Which I think is kind of... It kind of sucks. Yeah, it's very interesting. Mm, yes, okay, right, yeah. Mm. Yes, I need to rest so I can continue with the story. <laughs> My guy's had a pretty rough day. He woke up and got his heart ripped out, and now he had to fight a Cyclops, and then he tried to go to sleep and wakes up to fight a Hydra. Um, I think the key to this boss battle is to actually fight the head. So pick one head and stick at it. Stick with it and keep fighting it. Come at me, bro. Oh, you just threw me off. Look at that thing. I don't even know what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> Apparently nothing. I'm supposed to watch that guard get murdered. Oh, I did catch it. Nice. Oh! And down it goes. That was also the Cyclops, apparently. I never made the connection before. The truth! I love how he says that.
like some of that. Sure, I'll come. Yeah, um, when you accept the quest, you can just go there anytime. It's kind of like Skyrim and Oblivion in that regard. You know, it's like, when you have a main quest, just go to it whenever you're ready. Now, some quests, um, it's crucial you have to go there immediately after you accept it. So they tell you to, like, finish up all your business, which I, I appreciate. What skills do you have? Hmm, that'd be a good one to get extra help for the entire game, too. Okay. Um, we can actually buy some stuff from that Reynard guy now. He just stood there while the Hydra attacked. What a boss. He didn't run away or anything, he was just like, oh, after the Hydra leaves, I can sell my stuff. Braver than I am, that's for sure. That looks pretty cool. I like the poultry in there. But this is actual armor. Um, we'll get this. Wow, I can't do math right now. Okay, we'll get that. And what else can I get? I get these. No, actually, I'm not gonna worry about these right now. I need to get um my pawn something. Can I get them? I can't get them that stack yet. No, I want to buy that armor. That's for sure. Yeah, I'll change. And then maybe I can sell whatever I don't need. Yeah, I can sell two things. It's pretty much worthless, but okay. Okay, um, how much that staff? It'll make him a lot better, I know that. 2570. Dang. I wonder if I could make my pawn sell his staff that he doesn't need. I'll sell these. Then I'll have my pawn sell his old staff and just buy the new one. Okay, Mr. Baron, I'll equip your staff. You can sell it. Yeah, it's over 400. Okay, we have definitely, we have enough. Um, bye. We'll make, uh, we'll make Baron buy it, so it'll go right to his inventory. There we go. Yes, I want to change my equipment. Alright, we are good. What's up, dude? Okay. <clears throat> well, I hope you guys are enjoying the Let's Play so far. I love this game, man. I love it, love it, love it. And to the people that enjoyed Dead Space 1, uh, good news, I'll be doing Dead Space 2 uh, in the near future. And I have Dead Space 3 now, so I'll be able to do the entire... Uh, Series. Oh, so Kina is the girl that was in the beginning of the game. Okay. Well, let's go back to the main town then. But yeah, so I'm looking forward to doing more Dead Space. Definitely looking forward to that. I almost ran out of energy. You see, you can see the orange meter at the bottom. You need to be careful not to run out.
I mean, if you run out and you're not in combat, it's not a big thing, it's just you guys kind of, like, inconvenienced, but when you're in combat, it's just a nightmare because I've run out of stamina while fighting a boss, and my guy had to, like, get his breath, and the boss just, like, takes away half your health. It may actually even kill you, it all depends. Okay, everyone chill out about Kina. Holy cow. Like, as soon as I left the base. Hey, have you seen Kina? It's like, no. Multiple quests, apparently. What's this guy want to say? the well because that guy didn't want to apparently either slay 24 giant bats yeah I'll accept the quest it's not hard and you'll get fifty thousand dollars Sure, what do you have to say? Okay, so to catch a thief, I need to explain, I mean I need to talk to those guys. Okay. Speak with the thief victims. Dang. Okay, are we almost done with the tutorial? I've been playing for like an hour and it's like, oh, by the way, here, do this. Um, on the minimap at the bottom left is like, uh. The red circles are like, who to talk to and win. I mean, like, not win, but, like, who to talk to and where they are. Apparently that guy's not in the grocery store. Where's Geraldo? I talked to Estella, but... Geraldo's, like, nowhere to be found. I thought this was his grocery store. What's the village chief want? Okay. Yeah, well, I don't want to do that quest. Yeah, I want to do the uninvited guest. Talk to Estella and Geraldo. I talked to Estella. Where's Geraldo? This is Goshu store? I thought it was. Okay, well where is this guy then? Okay, here. At the fisherman's house. Well dang, he's supposed to be right next door. I've done this quest before. Apparently he's not there. Wait, is he in here? I need to get a group of pawns real quick. Otherwise, I'll get owned. Oh, I didn't know the video was almost over now. Holy crap. Okay. So, I'm going to search for friends list of pawns. This 
to the friends list one. Who? Am I playing online? I want to see who my. Oh, she only costs eighty-three thousand two hundred eighteen rift crystals to hire her. Apparently, I don't know who uh, the online creator was. The heck? Okay. Um, yeah, I'm gonna walk away now. The guy in there with like no pants, and he's like, "Hey, you want to hang out? You want to hire me? I'll just follow you around." No thanks. Okay. I truly know what Arisen are meant to do, because, okay. Wait, was that, uh, was that the one guy I could talk to? Crap. Let's exit here real quick. I think it was that Gerardo guy. He finally spawned in, apparently. There you are. I see you on the radar now. What's up, Rado? That's interesting. Hey, this is for not spawning when I needed you. Oh, oh, you can run away now? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I should, like, not just randomly attack villagers. But he did have it coming, I needed his help, and he's like, no, I'm not gonna help you. Okay, that's easy enough. Yeah. Good fisher. I don't remember my guy being a fisherman. Alright, that's easy enough. Where is this thief I need to catch? I have no idea where he is. Oh, there he is. Um, that was pretty anticlimactic. He just ran into me. <laughs> I'm the best thief catcher in the world. Oh, that was easy. We are building up the riches, guys. Okay, well, let's see if we can... Can I learn skills here? No, I can't. Alright, well, that's not a big deal. So, I guess we'll save. We'll rest up. Okay. When you're connected online, your main pod attributes will be uploaded every time you rest in in. Main pod is created and can travel with other worlds online to assist other players in their travels. These adventures can result in new knowledge, items, and equipment they bring back when they return. Your main pod will gain uh, boons earned in other worlds at the end as well. Visit often to keep current on any developments. So, yeah guys. We are doing okay. So thanks again for watching this part. Um, I'll be uploading this more frequently.
And I'll also be uploading my new Injustice character. And Dead Space 2 is to come shortly after that. So thanks guys for watching, you're awesome, I appreciate it, and I'll see you on the next one.